Hello guys, quick check in on Spanish so-called second wave. My video from two weeks ago has hit 1.2 million views. It's now the 22nd of September and I'll update on the last slide. So we showed Spain and at the time on September 8th, here was the mortality. It's around a little over one per million people with COVID. We showed that a second wave, true one, would look something like this. We're not seeing that. And in fact, the 1918 Spanish flu that some people reference would have been off the, this page, off the scale. But anyway, let's say that would be a second wave. But if we look now at Spain and take 2017 as an example of excess mortality as we come into winter and project out, we maybe see something like this if it was like 17. But that would not be a second wave. That would be normal winter respiratory excess mortality. Now, we also know from studies like the Glasgow one that the light green coronaviruses are much higher prevalence in the winter. So you're going to find coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, no doubt, on lots of people who are deceased with respiratory in the winter. But again, that's not a second wave. So this would be a second wave, right? as I said. What are we actually seeing in the last two weeks? Well, I'll show you. Approximately this is the trend from World in Data, right? Maybe it will go on to look like this over the rest of the winter. Again, that would not be a second wave, but we'll see lots of people with SARS-CoV-2. So we've got to be really careful when we're talking about second waves. Are we talking about normal increases coming into winter, or are we actually talking about real second waves? So, so far, there's no real second waves anywhere, nor sign of them coming but we'll continue to watch and we need to particularly watch very closely that a normal winter excess respiratory mortality is not being called a second wave of SARS-CoV-2.